Hi everyone, my name is Mike Scown. I am the Pottery Manager here at the Art House in Sheffield. For those of you who don't know, the Art House is a small charity and our primary focus is on helping people suffering from mental health difficulties to achieve an improved sense of well-being through the creative activities that we offer here. We run a very broad range of commercial classes, both in the art studio downstairs and on the pottery floor up here. So in the pottery, we have about 20 classes running per week. Some of those are throwing on the wheel, some of those are hand building, various firing techniques like raku, smoke firing. We also offer an open studio membership where members pay on a monthly basis to access the facilities in a more flexible way. Due to the outbreak of COVID-19, we've had to close our doors. Being a small charity, this has put us into a pretty precarious position. So one of the many things that we're doing as an organisation is running a series of videos, raising awareness of the art house and keeping our participants in the loop. Additionally, we've got a GoFundMe page set up we're active on Facebook, so I'll be linking everything into the description down below. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on at the Art House whilst we're closed, do check those links out. Without further ado, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the building and the facilities that we have here. So welcome to the Art House. Come on in. So this is our lovely cafe area. Uh, this is where Katie, our cafe manager, and her brilliant team work hard all day serving up lots of delicious, healthy, homemade, vegan and vegetarian food. Teas and coffees locally sourced as much as possible. This would normally be pretty busy, but right now as you can see there's not a great deal going on. The purpose of this video is going to be to try and raise awareness of this place as much as possible and hopefully get things back on their feet as quickly as we can. If you'd like to follow me this way, through here we have the office. So this is really the heart and soul of the organisation. The office team usually would be hard at work keeping all of our day-to-day -day activities running smoothly, which is really no small feat given the amount of stuff we have going on here. Again, not a lot going on right now, but we're hoping that'll change once we've got things back up and running. Through here, we have our art studio. So this is where all manner of painting, drawing, any creative medium you can think of really, all of those classes happen in here. It's usually a very busy, very active, vibrant environment, but right now, as with the rest of the building, it's just me. And through this way, we have the pottery. As you enter the pottery floor, you come into the glazed room. This is where things will tend to get a bit messy. We've got these 10 buckets of glaze behind me here, uh, which students have the option of applying to their pieces. Through this way, we have our house studio. So this is one of our pottery classrooms. On the table, we have work left over from one of our glass classes, which happen a couple of times a week. On the back wall over there, we have examples of various students and tutors work. Around the walls of the room are the class shelves that students use. The shelves will typically have either work in progress or finished pieces. Having had to close ourselves down just before our term finished, there's a lot of student work sitting where it is for the foreseeable future. Behind me here we have the three larger kilns primarily reserved for glaze firings, so they go up to about 1200 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to take a break for a minute or two to talk about these pots on the table here. One thing that we're doing to try and raise funds for the art house to keep us going through this difficult time is that I've thrown a hundred of these little pots here. 
Each one's unique, uh, being handmade, so they all have their own distinct character. If you want one of these, all you have to do is head to our GoFundMe page, which will be linked in the description down below. Make a minimum donation of £10, and with that donation just leave your name, the phrase 100 parts, and that means we'll put one of these aside for you to be collected from the art house once we're back open. So, if you want one of these, do please check us out on that GoFundMe page, uh, make a donation, spread the word, because at this stage, you know, every little really will make all the difference. And so, moving on, here we have our mezzanine gallery space. It's empty at the moment, but we try to have rotating exhibitions of work in this space. Out here, we have a balcony which comes in really handy for raku firing, uh, smoke firing. It's also just a really nice space to hang out in the summer months. And finally, through here, we have the main studio. So this is our biggest classroom space. Um, plenty of room for hand building work on the tables here. Uh, we've got 10 wheels around the edges of the room, so plenty of wheels for a nice big throwing class slab roller in the middle of the room and as with the other spaces just shelves and shelves all over the walls full of students work uh, finished pieces waiting to be taken away again once we're open and just generally a lovely nice light airy space to be in thanks for watching be sure to stay tuned uh, do check out those links down below uh, check out the gofundme page make a donation if you want to uh, everything we can get at this point really will make a massive difference and we'll see you soon.